So, I am here for race one of the North America Racing League Series 3. We are at Road Atlanta for this first race. Um, in practice, I was P35 out of 49 cars uh, qualifying. Um, I managed to uh, <laughs> qualify in 42nd position out of 49 cars. Um, not a great place to start. Um, the only redeeming aspect of that particular reality is that... Uh, over three quarters of the field is within the same second uh, in that qualifying lap. So uh, things could go wrong for other people. Um, I could have a steady race. Um, I could have more consistency. Regardless, um, there's opportunity here, um, and uh, we'll see how we do. So uh, let's grid up and uh, see what we can do. I also have to apologize ahead of time. Um, I do not have uh, standings or relative or anything like that with Race Lab apps. For whatever reason, um, a recent change in that app has suddenly pegged my CPU anytime I open it up and I can't record and uh, have that up at the same time. So I'm opting to record um, rather than have all that fancy stuff up uh, in your view and in my view. Um, so I am uh, using the local relative. Um, I am still using Crew Chief, so I should have uh, automatic refueling and all that kind of good stuff working for me. Um, but uh, um, don't panic. Um, I'll try to get you up to date as to where I am in the race as we go along, and then, of course, I'll recount it uh, and I wrap up at the end. This is a 40-minute race. There will be a pit stop involved. We're using a baseline setup, a high downforce setup, and um, nobody seems to be particularly happy with that. It was a last-minute change, but, of course, the iRacing service changed things pretty dramatically um, at the last minute with the last to build. So um, should be fun. We'll see how we go. Wish me luck. Follow car number 67. For a short track, this sure is a long parade lap. I'll have to go back through history and uh, see if my teammates remember, but this may be the largest grid I've ever been a part of. And on this track, it's going to get uh, interesting quick, I'm sure. Green, let's go, let's go. Shit. That's embarrassing.
B-44. Telling you coming into this, I was a little nervous. A lot of guys I don't know, some really fast guys in the front. Yellow flag, caution. Sector one is 1.8 off the pace. What to tell you that I saw him well in advance to do something about it had he been in the middle of the road, but I really didn't. Yellow flag. He's not wearing his proper uh, North America Racing League colors. Thirty-seven. Yellow flag.
Somebody's having a barbecue in the pit. Thirty five. Yellow flag, watch out. Okay, Chip, keep it nice and smooth. Come on, let the race come to us. B32, sector three is 0.6 off the pace. Stephen's definitely in my draft at eight tenths back. Run, Forrest, run, run for your life. Yellow oh. flag. Watch the reentry, dude. B thirty. Fucking kidding me. That oh, unlucky mate, that looks painful. We'll need to pit for repairs. We've had the black and orange flag. You're fucking kidding me! Jesus Christ, what a fucking asshole. Jesus Christ. Well, that takes me out of any possibility of a good finish. That was just fucking stupid. He had already been wrecked, was not gonna compete with me, and like charged up the inside and fucking I had nowhere to go probably on me but that was fucking stupid 110 stupid stupid damn it Just fucking insanely stupid. And I don't know what the fucking deal was the guy behind me fucking slid, lost it, and hit me. I mean, I was stopped, but I was kind of in the middle of the road. Can't blame him too much for that. But 
The fucking inside choker is fucking wrecked. Why is he going to speed up by inside? Why? Right. He's, He's coming to the pits anyway. Coming to the goddamn pits anyway. Can't even believe that. All right, Chip. Pit window open. Well, now you tell me, Jim. There's traffic behind. Watch your mirrors. Don't cross the white line. First position like fuck again. Blue flag. The gap ahead is now four point one seconds. Be forty. Okay, Chip. The next car is Dobbs. Blue flag. Track temperatures rising, it's now 94 Fahrenheit. The gap to Dobbs ahead is increasing, it's now 3.6. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, Jip, you've got half your fuel left. So Dobbs, ahead is increasing. It's now 6.2. Okay, Chip, there's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. Yellow flag, watch out, good consistency, keep them coming. I wasn't sure what the hell he was doing. To be fair, I'm not sure he was sure either. That's halfway, we think about 12 minutes of fuel left. closing you down. The gap has come down to 19 seconds. B37. The driver in front of us is Dobbs. Okay, Chip, you've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Yellow flag. B38. B38. 
Red, yellow flag. Front is now 8.5. The pit lane speed limit is 45 miles per hour, 300 feet, 100 feet. All right, Chip, we'll pull you to the end. There's traffic behind, keep your wits about you. Yellow flag, caution. Okay, Chip, 15 minutes left, that's 15 minutes. Is a car leaving the pits? Thirty-seven. You're a second off in sector one. in front is increasing. It's now 4.0 seconds. All right, Chip, there's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. Leader Hicks, 
is pitting. gap in front has increased, it's now about 5.6 seconds. Six. Okay, Chip. The next car is Tucker. The gap behind is now 2.0. Ten minutes remaining. Ten minutes. So Tucker ahead is now 17 seconds. It changed quick. Tucker ahead is pitting. Ahead is Michael. Lost all smoothness. Blue flag. That was better. The gap behind is now 9.1 seconds.
10 minutes of fuel remaining. Okay, Chip, you're reeling. Michael, in. The gap is 19 seconds. Sector 2 is 0.7 off the pace. Blue flag. Two tenths off the pace in sector three. You're a second off the pace in sector one. God damn it all. flag. Five minutes to go, five minutes left. Yellow flag. Blue flag. Man, these tires are starting to skate on me a little. B-33. behind is catching. The gap's now 1.9 seconds. Alright Chip, the next car is Ferretti. Push now, we can catch this guy. I think Sahaj is faster.
That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Once in a while, you gotta throw a wild pitch just to keep up guessing. B32, white flag, one more to go. Come on, Chip, keep pushing, we might get him back. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Tires are toast. B33, and there's the finish. Good result, mate. Well done. Well, not the finish I wanted. Probably the finish I deserve. It came really hard to drive this car about halfway through. Josh Lyon, are you nuts? Watch your speed limit in the pits. 300 feet. 100 feet. Well, that was fun. Well, that didn't quite go as uh, one might have hoped, but it was a race nonetheless. Um, congratulations to uh, David Hicks, uh, Teague Ashburn, and Diego Ayer for um, finishing out, rounding out the podium. Um, great drive by all of them. Wicked fast, 117. Um, was touched on in the race, best lap, 117.944. Um, that's crazy. Um, David, of course, led 28 of uh, the uh, 30 laps, so was uh, definitely in control of the race for pretty much the entire 
entire uh, duration. Um, coming from behind, I, I wasn't quite as uh, in control. I started 42nd, uh, worked my way up as far as uh, P30. And then uh, that guy uh, re-enter the track. Um, I thought I was past him. For some reason, he felt the need to race me at that point. His car was so badly damaged, it wasn't even funny. Um, but uh, clipped him on my right rear, spun me around, and then it got T-boned and flipped and wound up having to tow, which cost me about two minutes all total. Um, so no fun, even with the fast repair. Um, wound up dropping all the way back to uh, P41, getting back on track. Um, so I was lucky to uh, manage to dig back out as well as I did, especially given the fact that I had a really just stupid, stupid spin in turn five um, and uh, managed to smack the wall. I had a total of seven incident points, four of which were the first incident um, and I think one off track and then uh, the uh, spin where I touched the wall. All things being equal, it could have been worse, um, but definitely didn't do me any favors. Wound up finishing P33. Um, in a 49 car race, that's not horrible, but goodness, would I have expected better. Um, I, I think that I was on a tear. I probably would have finished probably mid-20s, maybe top 20 if I got really lucky, but of course I didn't. Um, it is what it is. Um, but, um, at least I have my health. <laughs> um, it was a fun race. Um, we'll look forward to the next one. Uh, Sebring is the next race on the docket next Thursday. Of course, uh, that is the first in my season of Sebring. I think I have a total of four races, all four racing leagues that I drive in are driving. No, three ra racing leagues are driving it. And one is the iRacing special event. It'll be the 12 hour on the 26th of March, which will be a lot of fun uh, with uh, Rob Cottle, Jeff Williams, and Jeff Rosenthal um, doing that 12-hour with me. So um, thank you for joining. Hope you enjoyed the uh, the video. Please be sure to uh, like, subscribe, comment. Um, give me some crap. Um, I kind of had a minor blow up after that, <laughs> that, uh, turnaround. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed that and weren't too horribly offended, but, uh, do, do come back. And, uh, I thank you for watching. Bye now. Spaß machen Rennsport.